What is going on little lemurs? Rainbow lemur here. And in this video I am going to show you my rather bizarre ramen recipe. So it involves oriental ramen noodles, mustard, relish, and honey. And this meal right here was inspired by my favorite YouTuber Kali Muscle. So be sure to go check him out. He also makes recipes similar to this. Yeah, like I said, um, he inspired me to make this meal. So yeah. It may seem a little gross, but believe me, this actually tastes pretty good. Surprisingly good. It's very high in sodium though, so be careful. If you don't like sodium, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the noodles and let's get started with the video. Alright, there it goes. It's cooking. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video for a little bit. Let it cook. And uh, according to Kali Muscle, um, he said this is um, really good for building muscle. But I'm not sure if that's true. I guess because it's high in sodium. So yeah. Look at the flame right there. Wow. No, never mind. Don't worry. Oh yeah, it's almost the time already. Yeah, I had to cook it for about three minutes. All right. Yeah, I don't want to put the flame too high. Let's stir them up a little. It's gonna be a bizarre recipe. Bizarre foods right here. Alright, I just finished cooking and I just put the um the oriental flavor. The flavor packet, I just put it in there. Alright, now it's time to drain some of the water out. Oh wait, before I do that I have to let it sit there for a, for a few seconds. Let the noodles absorb absorb the flavor. So you gotta drain out some of the water. You don't want it to be too soupy. So yeah, that's what um, Kali Musa also did. Yeah, you don't want to mix all the mustard and the relish with all that water right there. Look at that. Gotta drain some of it out. Alright. Now you can mix the mustard and, and the relish in better. Now that there's less water in there. Leave some of it, but drain most, I would say. You don't want it to be too soupy. That's, that's the way Colin Musa also made his. And like I said, this was inspired by him anyways. So yeah, I didn't... This is um, You could say this is not really mine, my recipe. Just my version of his recipe. Because he added a little more stuff into it. Yeah. Alright, now this is where the real fun begins. Alright. I'll pour the noodles in there. Mm, looks a little dry. Maybe I should have... Alright, it's time to add the mustard now. Hee hee. Ha ha. <laughs> Look at that. You don't want to add too much mustard though. Alright, now let's add some honey. Just a little bit. Actually, the honey tastes pretty good. Like I said, guys, this is my mix. Rainbow Lemur's recipe. And if you want to add some relish, you can. I'll add just a little. I don't want to add too much. Just a little. Yeah. Alright, now it's time to mix the recipe. Alright, now you gotta mix it up a little. I also like to add some pepper to it too. To give it a little more kick. Let me get the pepper really quick. Hold on. Yeah, add a little bit of pepper. But no salt though, because it already has a lot of sodium, so you don't need to add any more. And there you have it, Rainbow Lemur's Ramen Recipe. Yep, that's how you make it. Alright, well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to become a little lemur. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day everyone, goodbye. Thanks for watching this video.